Hello everyone once again, this is Rob, and welcome back to Media Awareness and another review video. Before I go any further, I'd like to ask you all to please consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my YouTube family. I'd love to have you. Also, if you'd be so kind as to like, share, and comment below. If you're not comfortable commenting in the comment section, you are more than welcome to contact me via the Facebook link found in the description as well. You can also find the link to my Patreon page and you can choose to support this channel which would be greatly appreciated. So continuing with Merlin weekend, happy 21st weekend for Merlin and for Merlin fans around the world you know what that means. Uh, for those of you who are unaware it is the 21st year, I suppose, that Merlin has held a weekend for fans where they put on a basically an event and it's really something special. So I've been celebrating by, I shared my introduction to Merlin last evening and tonight I am proudly presenting a review of the debut Merlion album, Deluxe Edition, for CD, one Blu-ray, set, five discs, script for Jester's Tear. As you can see, it's a, it is a book format. And right next to me as well, I have the original, uh, not the original, but a reissue of the CD itself. And this is the double disc version as well, containing the bonus material, all of which can be found in this new deluxe edition box or booklet set, I suppose you can call it. It is not a box set, it is a book. Um, I'm, I want, I'd like to do a review of this as an album, being that I've listened to both versions of it, the original and the reissue. And I would also like to do a review of the set as a whole in terms of its contents. So, the album itself is was released in 1983, and despite that being a very long time ago, being now that it's 2023, the album really holds up quite well. It is, the production itself is pretty much a, a, a live recording captured in studio. And by that I mean that the individuals, musicians, played their parts uh, pretty much live, you know, without any overdubs. They didn't play together as a group. They recorded most songs, as most bands do, individually in the studio. But the actual uh, performances were done with very little editing and, and or overdubbing parts. Uh, to change mistakes or anything like that because by that point in time when they went to record this material it was so well rehearsed from having played it live that they really didn't have a need to go back and really take their time they were able to knock it out fairly quick and the album was recorded rather quickly from December of 1982, I believe, through February of 83. It's not a really long time. Uh, but in that time, the band recorded the album, Script for a Gesture's Tear. And with this particular edition, the sound quality is really outstanding on the original album. It's really well done as far as a mix. Um, the album sounds great. 
everything sounds really really clear and crisp and I really had no complaints about the remastering on this deluxe edition set it sounds wonderful the additional material you get a unreleased concert it was live at the marquee from I believe 1982 just prior to the album being uh, recorded or during that time I'm not sure which and it sounds amazing it's a great great concert in addition to that you have the bonus disc of the first um, segment of the uh, set which contains the original band's EP which was included in the deluxe edition 2 CD set as well as a second disc and that's how it's featured here in this set as a second disc when you flip to the back you have the live concert which is really great and I, I highly recommend this set also the blu-ray for this particular set script for gestures here is probably the best blu-ray that the band has released aside from maybe holidays in eden which is a wonderful blu-ray as well it contains a plethora of material this one contains many music videos a documentary which interviews everyone who was involved with the band even past members in great detail artists um, producers this documentary is phenomenal and you get some great time with fish which i was really glad to see given that he had written the majority of the lyrics for this album which is a debatable point i have read some places that some of the songs were credited to some of the past members that had been dismissed prior to the recording of the album itself but I don't know how accurate that information is nevertheless you have an amazing set with this script for gestures here I'm going to show some pictures here you're going to see the first the cover then the interior first page of the book along with the uh, first two discs the album itself and the bonus disc contained EP and you will see a uh, select art uh, work um, page that I happen to see in the book and thought that would be really cool to show here as well and then finally you'll see the back portion of the set with the last two discs um, containing the live concert and the back of the uh, back of the book itself as well so you can check out the content for yourself so let's I'll show that right now As you can see, you know, there's really a lot. And I didn't want to go through the whole booklet because that would take a lot of time. However, I'll hold this up and maybe you can see how thick this actually is. There's quite a few pages in there. 
and when you take a look at the at that spine itself of this set, um, it is a fairly thick spine. It is a small novel, basically, and the information you know in the liner notes in here and the and the the, the writing is just very thorough. You have a lot of vintage photos of the band, uh, really amazing shots of artwork that was either unused or it was used for singles, EPs, etc. You, you have just a plethora of amazing stuff with this set. So if I was going to recommend any Marillion Deluxe Edition set uh, as far as content and what you're getting for what you're paying. I would recommend Script for Adjusters Tier and probably Holidays in Eden because that has a good chunk of, of um, really interesting extras on the Blu-ray as well. This set though is really kind of poignant as it is the band's debut album and on the Blu-ray you get Recital the Script which is a concert that was released on DVD back in the day as well as VHS even prior to that and that concert really says it all there is some bonus material as well for that which they were kind enough to include in this set as well so you really get a lot with this now this was released in 2020 it is now 2023 so if you're able to get your hands on this for a, a reasonable price i would go ahead and do so while you can because these sets tend to become unavailable very quickly i missed out on misplaced childhood cuts clutching at straws as well as rave and i'm kicking myself but like i said in my um, video last evening for the 21st happy birth happy 21st uh, weekend video for Marillion I was really unaware of those sets coming out when they were and uh, sadly I uh, probably won't have the opportunity to find those at affordable rates anytime soon um, but that being said I received a package today from an extremely gracious viewer who contacted me on Facebook who had seen some of my other videos and asked if I would be if I would want to have something else in my collection and if I would do a review of that so I want to show that here however I'll be reviewing this separately sometime during the week after I have a chance to go through it because it is also very lengthy it is of course the deluxe edition five disc set of Fungazi the album uh, the band's second album it is also the four discs and one Blu-ray format, I believe. Let's see here. And I will show you the spine. As you can see, it is also very thick because it contains a lot of nice pictures and artwork and assorted uh, photos taken of the band for, from the time frame itself in the early 1980s. So that was that arrived today, and I was very happy to see that. And I just want to say thank you to that individual who was kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to have it and review it because I truly did, and I'd love to have all these sets. Um, but uh, due to the prices. Of some of them, I really don't foresee that happening 
Um, it may, may not, all depending. Uh, but for now, I am thrilled with the sets I have, and you can find reviews below of in in my uh, videos of Afraid of Sunlight, the deluxe edition set, as well as Holidays in Eden, the deluxe edition set, and now you're of course watching the deluxe edition set of Merillion script for Jester's Tear, five discs, four CDs. One Blu-ray, amazing set. The individuals present on this recording are, of course, Fish, uh, who had written the majority of the vocals as stated, if not all, and provided vocals. Pete Travis on bass guitar. Steve Rothery on lead guitar and rhythm guitar, for that matter. Mark Kelly on keyboards. And Nick Poynier on drums. Uh, Nick, sadly, only played on this particular Marillion album and EP uh, before being dismissed from the band. But his work on this album is really fine. It is not uh, any uh, indication of why he was dismissed. Uh, it just so happens that there were some conflicts with the band. And that's really all I know at this point in time. But I'm really pleased to have been able to bring this to you on Marillion Weekend. And it, this is a wonderful, wonderful set to have. Like I said, if you're going, if you're going to become involved in, in the Marillion lifestyle in the music, this is the way you want to go. Script for Jester's Tour Deluxe Edition, five discs, released in 2020. It is now 2023, so grab this while you can. This is Rob with Media Awareness, and thank you for watching this review of Script for Jester's Tear, the Merillion debut album released in 1983 on EMI Records, and truly a magnificent debut album, really a landmark album. It did eventually go platinum, which is nothing to scoff at. And once you hear it, you can see why. It was really a groundbreaking album. I hope to see you all soon. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel, as previously stated at the beginning. Please also consider liking, sharing, and commenting below. If you're not comfortable commenting in the comment section, you are more than welcome to contact me privately on Facebook via the Facebook link. Also check out the Patreon link and consider supporting this channel. It would be greatly appreciated. You can also find the Amazon Media Awareness wish list in the description where you can pick and choose items for me to unbox, review, etc. I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful night and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.